Hi, hi, it's Sovereign, and welcome to What Never Was. This is going to be a short little point-and-click mystery-solving game. I've said it before, I'll say it again, I'm really not good at mystery games, so I don't know why I keep playing them. Um, but I guess we're going to go through here and try to figure out like what's going on. So in this one, it's like, from what I understand, you're a person who's trying to clean out her father, grandfather's attic. And uh, while you're up in there, you see a few different things. So we're going to just kind of hop into this one. Let's hop in. Hey mom, where are you? Wait, what? So you're not coming? But I'm already here. I know, but mom, don't we owe it to grandpa to... Yeah, I know, it's just... What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. Okay, okay, whatever, it's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes and then, I don't know, we can come back tomorrow and do the rest? Yeah, bye. Hmm. Good intro, I liked it so far. <laughs> I haven't seen anything, but it's got nice voice acting. I'm really going to miss you, Grandpa. What is that? All right, let's do this. All right, this is the attic. Already, there's this little white cord. So we're going to use WSAD, obviously. Hopefully, right? Ooh, nice little window here. Oh, wow. It's really bright outside. To interact, use left mouse button. Alright. Yeah. It's got a nice little cello over here. Can I touch it? I can touch it. Oh, Grandma's cello. So this is where it ended up. Some objects are worth inspecting more than once. Oh, Why did they change? Grandma's cello. So this is where it ended up. Okay. To interact with object, press right mouse button. I really wish I knew if that was in tune or not. <laughs> I love cello music. It's top tier. Alright, here's this... What are they called? Gramophones? Gramophones? Unless this is a record player. It's a record player. Yeah. Ah, uh, the old gramophone. Oh, no, it is a gramophone. I was right. I thought gramophones were the ones that played wax cylinders. Can I crouch? I can crouch. Yeah, I thought gramophones were the ones that played wax cylinders. But, you know, don't quote me on that. I'm maps. Not... Lots of maps. I'm sure some of these are worth keeping. But I'm not going to sit down and sort through them right now. Alright, we're just going to start coping uh, things. It's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. Nah. I don't feel like reading up on kings, countries, or his- These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? We love to see it. <laughs> uh, Grandpa loved reading maps. And making and maps. And making maps. Alright. He was a map guy. Map I'm sure some of these are worth keeping, but I'm not going to sit down and sort through them right now. Alright, let me go ahead and just kind of take a big, quick scan of this whole thing. I'm going to read that paper later because it looks important. <laughs> Give me just a second. This is this is how everyone looked at one point. Just piles of books everywhere. I finally got a bookshelf. That was great. Ah! What is this? It's cute! Hey, Mr. Piggles. I'm a big fan of that. Play me. Alright. A tape recorder. Hello. This is Power James Wright with a message for my... Granddaughter Sarah Elizabeth Wright. So if anyone else is listening, they can start off immediately, please. <laughs> <clears throat> Sarah, if you are listening to this, then it means well it means I'm gone. Mm. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. That's just the way life goes sometimes. Damn. <laughs> so Chin up, my little pixie. Remember our grand moments. All the adventures we had when you were a little one and I wasn't such a cranky old man. <laughs> I, I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother. But there were good reasons. There are oh, that's things interesting. In what do I call it? Oh, it's Pele greater than ourselves, and I needed to protect you from them. I didn't want either That's of you the to Hawaiian face the dangers of that I've had to oh. 
as it says. I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now it, it's unavoidable. Pixie, I need your help, but I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do is look. Mm. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Oh, goodbye, Grandpa. Q. Okay, Q. I got a cell phone. And it's a flip phone. Nice. Student ID. That's what I look like. I mean, it's also not the best picture. Yeah, that's me. Necklace. Okay, so the thing she was holding in her hand before it was a necklace. Eventually this is gonna go somewhere in here. And now I've got the cassette tape and I really love the game. That was a really nice cinematic shot of everything that's going on here. The game's- this like little room is beautiful. I don't know. Like, man. Oh man. My old A station. I spent hours playing games on this thing. Yeah, it's Damn. The, the adapter's missing. Probably for the best. I wouldn't get anything done today if I started playing. <laughs> All oh, right, over here we've got a chessboard, a typewriter, a crucifix, another little letter. Okay, some things down here. This bike. They got some stuff going on over here. Oh, a key. It's a small, simple key. Maybe it fits the desk. Yep, I'll take that. I'll pick it up. Can I turn on this light? Yeah, I can. Uh, these scratches look particular, but they also look mirrored. So maybe it's just part of the wood detail. Ah, uh, berries by Brian Froud. Does this globe have anything to do with Grandpa's message? Oh, nice. You turned it around. Oh, hold up. I could press on this? Yu Sang China. And a symbol of a tree. And then over here. Oh, okay. These can be pushed. Okay. So I pushed that one. And I pushed What that did one. the message say again? Oh, the message. Pari, uh, pari from the tallest tree to the deepest shoe, Egypt. Ah, shoot. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna listen to that message again, just because it's got the. He said something. He said something about the order of which to push those in there. Um, let me A read this though. Torn out page. Let me see if I can read it. Oh, I can read it. Picked up journal page. Let me go ahead and look at that. Oh, journal entries. It seems no coincidence. That both resting place of Pele in Paragua, Paragua would happen to be the mountains. The trek has gone well, and although the winds are ominous, my clothing and necessities have carried me well so far. The guide I hired upon arrival has proved invaluable, not only in his knowledge of the thick forest, but also for his rich knowledge in his company. Not unexpectedly, the symbol of water could be found at the peak of the summit, along with the alchemic symbol for water. Again, these symbols seem interconnected. While one set are alche alchemic symbols known to many people, the others seem strange and of no cultural design that I am at least knowledgeable of. The encounter on Hawaii makes me certain that two other elements will bear significant as well. What will I find on this mountain? Alright. Let's see, are there any other pages I can pick up? Because that was journal entry page 2. I would like to find all the journal entries because why not? Like, yeah, so here's Pele, or his drawing of Pele. I've never seen, like, an Celtic actual- myths and legends. That's- I feel like that's an actual book. I watched a YouTube video titled that. The hero with a thousand faces. Celtic myths and legends. Alright. The hero with a thousand oh, okay, faces. okay, so these are all going to be the same. By Joseph Campbell. But I think there was another page I could pick up over here. Yeah, I've never seen a picture or a- I wouldn't say an accurate drawing of Pele. I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't I don't know and I don't know enough to really talk about it. So, to be quite frank. Whoa. Nah. -uh. I've watched too many movies. It looks like a torn out page. You know. Um. Especially. It's a chessboard. 
with the game already in progress. There's no one to play. And a typewriter. <laughs> Can't imagine it's been used much. Grandpa was always the fountain pen type. A little bit, a little bit. I want to go explore this stuff. Yeah, uh, so I don't want to talk about Pele too much, especially just because, you know, Hawaii is on fire right now, and a lot of people, you know, have... There's a lot that went on with that. A desk drawer. But I do have the key for this, I'm pretty sure. But for now, we have a look here. An open desk- an open- an open desk drawer. Okay. Can't do anything with that. Oh! A thing! A pretty fancy looking compass. A desk drawer. A desk drawer. Mm. What's this? An open desk- an open desk drawer. I know it's an open desk drawer. Please, ma'am. Alright. I'm just gonna open all these drawers right quick. Huh. This tin box looks fairly old, and has a combination lock on it. What could the combination be? Hmm. I'm gonna worry about okay, that Okay, Grandpa. Later. I need a clue to unlock this box. An open desk drawer. A torn out page. Pick that up. <laughs> I'm gonna go look at all these journal pages and give me just a second. <laughs> I just want to make sure I have all that I can have. I really wish I knew if that was in tune or not. I don't care. I like the cello either way. I don't know either. Hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. Hmm. There is no. It weighs like 200 pounds. All right. Let me go ahead and re-listen. Let me. One, two, three, four. All right. Let me go ahead and cassette tape. Let me play this again. Hello. This is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. And every dancing so queen. So if anyone else is listening, they can start off immediately, please. Oh wait, hold up. I don't have to, I don't have to, haha, -ha, I don't have to listen to it again. Not that I don't want to listen to him, but I want to talk. That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to talk to y'all. I'm here to commentate on the game, whether you like it or not. And if you don't like it, that's alright. But if you do like it, please like and subscribe, because it does a lot for me. <laughs> alright. Tallest tree. Tree. Earth. Water. Wind. Fire. Alright. Could he be referring to these symbols? Is that supposed to be wind? I'm guessing it's wind. Few sang China. Earth. Does this globe have anything to do with Grandpa's message? That's fire. Pariyakaka, South America. Wind. And that looks like a drop of water. Shu, Egypt. And I... a symbol of a swirl? Pele. Yeah! <laughs> I did it! Yeah! I'm intelligent! This looks like... Is this a sec... This looks like... Is this a second part of my necklace? I don't think I'm getting any more out of this globe. Okay, so I can put them together. Whoa. Oh, it's cute. It's pretty. Oh, necklace part. What does that do for me? To look through. Whoa. Oh, it's the Serious room. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> This is why they said it's like the room. So the room, there you have a you have like a lens. You have a lens you can put in and it allows you to see things that you couldn't previously see. So let's see. Oop. If I had to guess. These are all things, huh? That's the alchemic symbol for I don't know what that is, called. My grandfather's grandfather clock. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a... Grandpa loved this thing. Alright, so I, that doesn't actually reveal to me anything. So Although, let me go ahead He never actually told me why. Oh! Grandpa's old travel diary. I should see if I can find the missing pages. I should see if I can find them. It's a banker's lamp. It's a magnifying glass. Didn't I already find all the missing pages? Frow in Alan Lee. 
That's nothing in there. Oh. It looks like a torn up page. I picked up a journal page. Alright. We can actually read all these journal pages before I do anything else that might cause me to not be able to read these anymore. Alright. Journal page number one. He's finally landed in Hawaii, which will soon begin my... Ad... Adores? Adores? I... I'm not good at reading. Climb of Mauna Loa. I am not much of a climber, but I am filled with determination. I will, however, first take some days to recuperate from the very tiresome travel from which my fear of flights did not exactly improve. Not only was the pilot rude and dismissive of safety protocol, he also seemed completely unsure at times of what he was doing. Regardless, I am here. I will spend the days in the coming... I will spend the coming days in the village of Pahala. Whatever secrets Pele Goddess of Fire holds is now within my grasp. I have definitely reached the right place, although I am weary from travel, I am too excited to sleep. The villagers are friendly, but warn me of hurting customs, something I have no intent to do. I also have noticed that alchemic symbol, the alchemic symbol of fire etched over people's doorways. It connects to Pele, of course, but is it linked to the crest I have sought as well? This was number two, we read that. Three. Okay, so that's the alchemic symbol for Earth, is the one that the clock was out with the is what that was. Alright. While a trip has yet again gone well, my research has once again led me to these symbols. I can draw no conclusion. I spent most of my life researching these mythological connections, and yet again I've reached my destination. And nothing. Almost as all of this is an extremely elaborate prank. Sometimes I wonder if my daughter is right. Months, nay, years of planning. Only to eventually find a temple or shrine with another symbol, another riddle, and another clue. However, at the same time, it feels like I am so close to finding some- Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm a little concerned that this ended, like, really abrupt, really. And you can see down here that, like, he trailed off, and then this just starts up- All oh, I've worked for is here! All I've worked for is here. I know it. The necklace in the temple of temple in China made all the difference, and now I can. I am finally in Africa, hoping to set the burning sensation of curiosity to, to peace. The symbols lined up, and my calculations were correct. But the anonymous mail I received helped on a grand scale. But I have still not managed to figure out the sender. Regardless, the last piece of knowledge should be here in Egypt. And after having evaded my guide. I have now found the symbols. It's time time to learn what is behind these strange connections and events. Alright, here's the fifth. Six, seven, five. Does that mean anything to me? Elfston. Sometimes known as troll stones, the subject of Scandinavian folklore. No more rocks with holes in them. The size of an acorn were considered lucky, otherworldly, and useful. Hung from the necks of livestock, it would prevent them and their farmers from malicious predators, trolls, and even incubi. Some other, in some tales, the owner of a true elfston is also able to see an otherwise invisible common troll through the hole of the rock. While several of these were on display, only one of them looked to be the one I was looking for. Carved in a way that no average jeweler could, and with an oar in place of where the hole should be. I didn't acquire it through the most honest means, but no one came to harm. I am sure its disappearance won't be noticed. I do wonder how it fits into all this, though. I must study it thoroughly. And then there's a photograph. Let me look over this, make sure that there's no... That's the necklace, by the way. Let me look over this, make sure there's no, like, little... Because there was a 675 of the other one. Here's the photograph. Of what, though? An old photograph on the desk. It says, Sultan Hassan's Mosque Madrasa, Egypt, 1966. Must have been from one of those trips. Let's see, anything on the back? Mm, it just says what it is. Let me go ahead and look. look at all these. I don't think the only one that looked to have additional writing on it was that one. Unless, there it is again. This is ST. ST. STG? ST9? I don't know if that actually means anything though. Tree. There's a 675 there. Oh, there- it looks- maybe it's just, like, page stuff. Alright. This has got so much- so much into it. Oh, uh, okay, alright, let me see. There was a key, but it doesn't look like there's anywhere for a key to go. To be completely honest. Like, I didn't- like, I've got this key. So 
well enough to fit into the desk, maybe, maybe is there like this desk? Because it was talking about this one? I don't see this as something I can open on it though. Maybe the reason I didn't- It's an old table lamp. Maybe the reason I just opened up all of those was because I would have the key though. Alright, so now this is gonna be V. So that's the alchemic alchemic symbol for Earth in the middle there. Come to think of it, I don't even know. I can't believe Mom. Hmm. 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 The key I have doesn't fit here. Hmm. There is no way I can pick this up. That like seems to mean something, but I don't. I couldn't tell you what it meant. And it looks like maybe there is something else that I was supposed to unlock with the key because. It doesn't say anything, but like all these have keyholes on it, but and no, nothing seemed locked. But I can open up all of these. An open desk drawer. And there was this. I don't. It's locked. It's huh. This tin box looks- what could the combination be? There's an S, and there's an A, and then this has... A... F... L... It's locked. This has a D, an R, an I, a D. What happens if I look through it here? Oh! Okay, hold up. Is this gonna say Pele or something on it? No, it's gonna say Pixie! Okay, this is the key. What happens if I look through the thing here, though? Anything? Okay. Sorry, so the key should fit here then. That's great. So maybe I've got to move these to their correct thing that they represent. Like they're like, okay, you're gonna learn the alchemical symbols today. So the tree is supposed to be the earth, which is this one. That's earth, so. This is. Hold on, I've got that. I've got that. I've had all the answers right here. This isn't anything. Oh, fire is the triangle. Up triangle. Fire is up triangle. Alright, so this up triangle here needs to hop. Weren't these triangles in the journal pages? Yeah, they sure were. This yeah. hand is a triangle facing outward. Weren't these triangles? I probably need to select the clock hand somehow. Alright, that's gonna go right over there. So I can click on this? It's stuck in place. Weren't these triangles in the journal pages? Oh! Oh yeah, hold up. Okay, this is only gonna go. Okay, alright. Gotcha. That's where that fire was. Yep. Alright. Earth, fire. And I need to figure out the water. This is the triangle to walk through. Which one is this one? This was Earth? No, this was Earth. Anyways, this is going on the one. Oh, this is wind. This button seems to control what clock hand can be moved. Uh, this button seems to select clock hand. This one. Now where's the wind button at? Wind is over there. Okay. Yep, perfect. Alright. And then the last one. No! Okay. I've got to go all the way around to it again. Stuck in place. Uh, 
Oh, I need the down triangle. Alright, so this one needs to go like there. Bet <laughs> we did it. I'd take it if I could. But where in my eight my grandfather's grandfather clock? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck give her? Did I do it wrong? That's how that works, right? And there is nothing else in here, right? Maybe I wasn't supposed to... That's what... That's what was popping. That's fire. I didn't mix those two up, did I? This clock hand is a triangle facing outwards, with a line going through it. Outwards, line going through it. Outwards, line going through it. That was Earth. Mm-hmm. Can I, like, put on my lens and then view the stuff in my inventory? I don't think it works like this. No, because these look the same no matter what. Elf state. Okay. Wind is the triangle facing outwards. That's correct, right? That's wind, right? Maybe I can go touch this journal now, because there was a thing that I was like, oh, I can't touch the journal yet because it's the missing Helen, pages. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. I think I already found all the missing pages, no? Oh, Grandma's cello. So this is where it ended up. These books are the hero with a thousand I'm only I'm only here to pick up my stuff. But maybe I'll grab this later. I feel like also I should be able to move this carpet around. Like, I don't know about you, but like, it just seems really conspicuously placed. What about this? This is just. This is the part where I start looking at everything because I don't know what I should be grabbing. There's no jumping. Berries. These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? That doesn't help me. Celtic. Uh, berries. Is there anything over here? Like, proud. I can, like, myth. He's booked the hero with a thousand pages. This is all like by Joseph Campbell. Books and whatnot. I don't. I don't think I'm getting any more out of this glow. There's a nice bike. There's nothing over here I can grab, right? Museum stuff. It's not Elstein. Sarah's things. What if I grab this? I'm not- I'm not- Ah, uh, here's my stuff. I'm not grabbing my stuff until I've made sure I have it. I am not taking this- I am not taking this with me right now. What? I did everything. Uh, it's going that to should be correct. Like, I don't understand. All these I Celtic something? myths and legends. Okay, hold up. Maloa. Six, seven, five, six, seven, five. Six, seven, five isn't anything. It's the thing on the page. Watermarking, or it's like he did a bunch of math on these pages, and then he alchemic symbol of water, which is right where I put it, right? That's. Maybe I switched up water and fire. Maybe, hold up. <laughs> Maybe I did something wrong. Water. That's wind. Two was where fire was. So this is water.
which is the one with the flat side pointed out. Which is on water. This clock hand is a triangle facing inwards. Yeah. Flat side out, inside in. That's water. Tree is this one with a little bar through it. And with the pointy side facing inwards. Oh! I'm sorry, y'all. Weren't these triangles in the journal pages? Yeah. I was absolutely correct. This button seems to control what I'm just a is little a stupid. With a line through. Was that it? There we are. Did I do it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening? Am I getting sucked in? No, no, no. Oh. Interesting. Oop, she's that gone. was the first time I traveled by magic, pulling at the thread that would unravel my grandfather's mysteries. I so wish he told me sooner, so we could have gone on at least one adventure together. Instead, I went on his adventure, the one that never was. But that is a longer story. Oh! <laughs> another time. Okay. Sorry that should be a long time, guys. I may... Uh, I don't pay attention to things I should be paying attention to. I'll take a closer look. Uh, it was right there in front of me. I was like, that was right. All right. Well, that was... That was what never was. That was a really super cool game. Now, I did hear that there was supposed to be a second part to this. Because, like I said, this really seems like a more of like a prologue. Uh, to like a, maybe a bigger like mystery game, which would be super cool. It is it is very much like the room, but I actually really like this concept for it. Uh, I will say, you know, I was just like I'm just like you know like at the developer, like careful, because you guys, because you're, because this developer is treading a lot of like mythology and stuff and still stuff that is being believed today. So I would just kind of like just kind of be. I would like I I'm interested to see what he's gonna do next, but like, as long as he's careful about it, like so so careful, because a lot of the stuff you do not mess with. Um, you, you just don't, you know what I mean? Especially, especially when it comes to certain deities that are being, you know what I mean, invoked or talked about, you know, you just want to make sure that you're very respectful about it, make sure that you know what you're talking about, you know what you're doing when it comes to making games about mythology. And then, like I said, especially about stuff that is still being, that is still believed in worship today. Um, but overall, it was a really, really, really great game. Now, the developer is only one person. I know there's a few other people that were in here for like voice acting, obviously, and I think the mixer was different. But this game is free. It was, like I said, short game. I loved it. I loved every second of it. It was really beautifully done. It was really cinematic. Even though the game was so short, it did a great job of telling the story. <laughs> it was just fantastic. I liked it. I would love to see a second part come out from this. Now, the dude said, like I said, he is one person, so it's going to take a while. And I think the last update to this game was like in 20 something, 2020 maybe even. But he did, I feel like he responded to a comment in August. And he says that he's still working on it, he just doesn't have like a lot of time. You know, obviously, so if slash when this does get an update, I will definitely be playing it. Provided he is properly respectful towards the things he is talking about. Um, but with that said, hey, you should definitely go check this out. It was super, super fun. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and joining me today. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. As always, I do have that Instagram is sovereign.games over on Instagram.com. And I will catch you guys in the next episode.